What is up YouTube? I'm Devon DaVinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching DaVinci Reacts. Now, today I got another video from Hellful Edits, um, Best of Frankie Boyle, on Mock the Week. This is episode, or series six it's called. It's the sixth video that I've done, at least I believe it's the sixth video I've done. Uh, I have all the other videos on my channel. I'll have a couple cards in this video that you can click on and go and check those out. Um, I'll have a link for Helpful Edits video at the end of, or not video, but the link for Helpful Edits' channel at the end of this video. So you can click on it and go straight to their channel. Look at all the other content that they have, because they have more than just Frankie Boyle. And you can subscribe to their channel and things like that. I will have a link for the original in the description box down below. So if you haven't seen it already, be sure to go and check it out. Uh, give it a like so that they so that helpful edits knows that these are the videos that people enjoy so they'll make more of them um this video is 18 minutes long it's a bit of a doozy let's go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer um i wonder what the topic for this week is going to be the next topic is a war on terror who wants in frankie i watched the footage of saddam being executed and it really made me think it made me think is there nothing on the internet that i won't masturbate to <laughs> <laughs> if Saddam masturbated, it would be out of erotic asphyxiation. They put, his, they put his death on YouTube. I mean, it's really got to bring it home to you as a great dictator when your death gets less hits than a fat Korean boy body popping. <laughs> Let's stop and take a minute to understand that YouTube has changed since these days. Back in the day, you probably could go and like see videos of people actually dying on YouTube. That goes to show just how corporate they've become. Wow. I forgot about those days. Why is this man being causing controversy this week? <laughs> yes, this is the story of Thomas Beattie, known as a pregnant man. He gave birth to a girl last week in Oregon. Thomas has born Tracy. You know, That's just irritable bowel syndrome. And is now legally male. Good news, you've had a healthy baby. Bad news, you've blown your cock off. <laughs> Bad things for a by-election wow. candidate to say. I've been knocking on doors in this constituency for weeks, and it's completely unconnected to the recent stranglings. <laughs> <laughs> if elected, living standards will go up. For me and my wife. That's how it is for my most politicians. Is to bring crime in this constituency down by patrolling the streets at night dressed as a man leopard. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Catman? Things to hear during a medical examination. Well, there's good news and bad news, but don't worry, I can give the good news to your widow. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the healthiest X-rays I've ever seen, but if we compare that with yours, <laughs> <laughs> you have the body of someone half your age, growing inside your womb. <laughs> 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 the answer is a hundred pounds a day. What is the question? Is it, is it what do I pay my cleaner not to go to the police? <laughs> <laughs> Football's just distraction, distract Absolutely. you from the real world, distract you from the war. Instead, they should replace football with just a guy bringing out a big bunch of keys and going, look at the shiny, shiny. <laughs> no. Cancel the football season, look at the shiny, shiny. <laughs> Things you're unlikely to hear on a quiz show. It's the banker. He says he's got your kids. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make a deal Things now? That would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. Help yourself to Nibbles. He was our favourite hamster, but it's what he would have wanted. I didn't really get that one. He's allergic to nuts. Because I like to rest mine on the table. <laughs> there is a vegetarian option. You can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> who, is, who isn't going to Beijing? Well, it's Dwayne Chambers. Yeah, isn't, which is very sad because I want the athletes to take drugs. I mean, do you want to see someone shave a hundredth of a second off the 100 metres record? Or do you want to see them run it in three seconds? <laughs> I don't want to see Dwayne Chambers running on steroids. I want to see him running with the legs of a kangaroo and the heart of a leopard. <laughs> I want to see him run so fast that halfway through the race, he disappears like the car from Back to the Future. <laughs> he appears at the finish line as an old man who shouts, Beware China and crumbles into dust. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a superhero movie. 
No, they call me Catwoman because I can lick my own arse. <laughs> You're trapped, Spider-Man, trapped in this enormous bath. <laughs> I didn't really is get it that one. Bird? It is went it over my head. I'm sorry. Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. Damn. <laughs> What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow, I don't think you will be. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah, that, that was painful. Okay. Oh, oh man. <laughs> likely letters for an agony aunt to receive. Dear bitch, I have trouble making friends. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> My problem is that I can only ejaculate when I hear a buzzer. There's <laughs> <laughs> a big fuss because Barack Obama got, what was it, 200,000 people in Berlin? Berlin? Let's not forget that yeah. the last time 200,000 people <laughs> gathered in Berlin, it was to listen to the most evil man in the world, David Hasselhoff. <laughs> <laughs> The answer is 60,000. What is the question? Is it, what is my Polish cleaner's name worth in Scrabble? <laughs> <laughs> Commercials that never made it to air. Let's Are have you a lot of Z's of drinking and, and driving? Remember, the M20 is surprisingly quiet on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> Bad things to hear on opening the door in the middle of the night. I saw a peeping Tom in your garden, but I warned him. This is my patch. The <laughs> <laughs> Band is a slightly different type of career politician, and they're going, oh, it'll be a breath of fresh air. No, it would be very slightly different. Vin Diesel, he'd be a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Sergeant Bash from Robot Wars. Why don't they ever just... It's celebrity. <laughs> Tom Cruise, he's got a creepy marriage going on, hasn't he? <laughs> I reckon if you went round to their house for dinner, she'd have written, get help in the peas. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is 85,000 miles. What is the question? Is it, for legal reasons, <laughs> what is the closest that I'm allowed to come to the actress who plays Hermione in the Harry Potter film? <laughs> 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 Who watches the Olympics anyway? Surely the, the irony is the only people who watch the thing are people who are too lazy to switch off the TV. <laughs> who watches gymnastics? Watching gymnastics. Watching gymnastics is just pedophilia for cowards, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I was 18. Is it pedophilia for cowards? School because someone had burned my school down. <laughs> and uh, somebody had burnt your school down. Was that down the stage of her uh, career when she was investigating mysteries? <laughs> 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 Bad things to say at a job interview. This job would be a great opportunity for me to steal a shitload of stationery. <laughs> <laughs> Sum myself up in three words. <laughs> I suppose it would have to be killer alien vagina. <laughs> <laughs> things you wouldn't hear on some. I need to know. I need to know where the the like, the context and the commas are because depending on where you throw them, that could be. I could take different avenues, so you could have killer alien vagina, like you have an alien vagina that's amazing, or you might have a killer alien vagina that like sneaks off your body in the middle of the night and goes out and just murders people. Either way, it can be taken from that sentence. I need to know where the the affliction, the the word, the the word that you're trying to stick out the most is. Is it killer alien vagina or killer alien vagina? <laughs> of praise. Hello Canterbury, let's make some fucking noise! <laughs> and we appear to have a streaker. No, one of the altar boys has escaped from the vestry. <laughs> wow. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to be the one Chinese guy who danced out a sink, would you just find yourself sort of... <laughs> I don't remember a man with a rifle in the dress rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> there goes me and my village. Did you see? <laughs> Did you see the drama that was? The next topic is science. Frank. Viagra's overrated, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know Viagra actually takes half an hour to have any effect? I often find that in that time, the woman has managed to wriggle free. <laughs> 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 The answer is 691 million. What is the question? Is it 
What does C three PO shout when he ejaculates? <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear at the Olympics. <laughs> and that is a personal best. The first time I've managed to crack one off to the weightlifting. <laughs> <laughs> To show you just how polluted this city is, the javelin has got stuck in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is nine. What is the question? Is it how many dwarfs were originally in Snow White before political correctness forced the removal of Poofy and Rapey? <laughs> uh. <laughs> See when Bush had to meet the women's volleyball team and they wanted him to smack them on the bottom, yeah. but he wouldn't do it. Do you think Bill Clinton would have missed that opportunity? <laughs> Bill Clinton would have had to have been brought up to the volleyball team tied up like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Questions that were rejected. Yeah, from I had a liver with some fava beans. An object is travelling at 750 miles an hour, encounters resistance and slows to zero. For how many months will Richard Hammond have to wear nappies? <laughs> <laughs> More Richard Hammond. Describe Uranus without telling your parents. <laughs> <laughs> if everybody in class A is called Tom, Thomas or Tommy, and every second boy in class B is called Tim, Timothy or Timmy, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next topic is... <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a costume drama. I worked for the Duke of Wellington when he invented the Wellington boot and the Earl of Sandwich when he invented the sandwich. But I suppose my happiest time was working for Lord Strapon. <laughs> 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 ah, the Duke. My daughter has been itching to meet you. Chlamydia! <laughs> <laughs> the answer is 1,433 days. What is the question? Is it... How long does it take Stephen Hawking to sing Bohemian Rhapsody? <laughs> <laughs> Is it, I am the leap year killer, when will I strike next? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, what I was thinking, to be honest, he's the mayor of London simply because he was popular on a panel show. Frankie, you've got to be PM. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't applaud, you have some very tough years ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> How is it going to help us to become more competitive? How does that address the real <coughs> concerns of Britain in any way? In 20 years' time, when a largely submerged London has been attacked by a platoon of Al-Qaeda's jihad scuba warriors, <laughs> would it really help that we're slightly better at basketball? <laughs> luckily, luckily, you'll be in the highest office in the land of that <laughs> If Citizens of New yeah. Atlantis, we must self-destruct. <laughs> if Frankie starts showing up with an arm band... in every crisis. This time I mean it. <laughs> you better start ducking. OK, let's see what we've been left with for Frankie. Let's spin the wheel. Children. <laughs> <laughs> what an unbelievably sinister photograph. <laughs> Don't worry, this is light-hearted whimsy. I've got a, a wee baby now, he's nine months. I'm starting to get a bit fucking sick of him, to be honest. <laughs> I went to the bath, and going to the bath, it really does bring home the, the, the wonder, the miracle, I suppose, that is contraception. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, don't go. It's like watching the deleted scenes from Platoon. <laughs> They're talking about Obama being under pressure at the convention, aren't they? You're thinking, is there an easier gig in the world? Yeah. I mean... There's nothing that he could say that wouldn't earn him a standing ovation. He could stand up and go, I killed a tramp once, it made me feel horny. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how unlucky you'd feel, right, if you saw a bloke who was asleep on the beach and he kind of, you know, had a vicious scar and he was like that and he started weighing on it and it turned out it was a birthmark. That <laughs> would be bad luck, would it not? Although, to be honest, <laughs> it would be a tremendous episode of Mr Bean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unlucky I haven't seen Mr Bean cards. in a long time. <clears throat> Congratulations, you're 18 on a list of 20 people I'm going to kill. Wow. Congratulations on conquering your drug and alcohol dependency. We're having a party to celebrate, but you can't come. <laughs> Things you didn't hear at the Olympics. Next, the rhythmic gymnastics. You might want to start beating out your own rhythm at home. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can touch this Russian gymnast except their coach and their uncle. 
Wow. The answer is one. <laughs> In what year did Jesus have a holiday book that he never got to go on? <laughs> <laughs> about being a creationist right is that actually being a creationist is the logical position isn't it if you're going to believe in a crazy made-up religion you might as well just go the whole hog and get right into it right Richard Dawkins right he's a very nice guy but he doesn't understand the suspension of disbelief that's part of religion you wouldn't want Richard Dawkins reading the Narnia books to your children would you <laughs> Peter who doesn't exist and Lucy who doesn't exist <laughs> Edmund and Susan who don't exist all went through a magic doorway that didn't exist and met a liar they exist but they don't talk and they're not a metaphor for Jesus who definitely definitely didn't exist <laughs> On, a, on an apocalyptic note, why do some people fear that the end of the world is going to happen next Wednesday? Oh, because is... it might well do, oh, yeah. because they've created a giant black hole machine in Switzerland. <laughs> okay. A machine that could create a black hole that will end the universe. <laughs> <laughs> you just hit it on that. Greatest bit of time <laughs> The Large Hadron Collider in CERN uh, in Switzerland starts on mm. Wednesday. Or to give it its proper name, the Black Hole Machine. <laughs> 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 they've, taken, they've taken all necessary precautions. No, they haven't. Well, there's a 1 in 50 million chance that it could create a black hole which will end the universe. Now, I would argue that if there's any chance of that... Easy enough. One percent chance. Me, can I get a train set up in the loft? I would go, OK. If, say, could I get a train set that might end the universe, <laughs> I say, hmm, what about a bike? <laughs> well, even fair, if they got the proton and then cycled them round the tunnel on a bicycle. The thing is, I'm sure they're going to find out some interesting things about protons, but I would add, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the first subject is television. Who wants to come in that? Fucky. I have read that they actually did create a black hole, but it was so small that it only lasted for like a fraction of a second, and then it disappeared. Um... In order for a black hole to constantly be able to sustain itself, doesn't it have to constantly be like feeding on matter and stuff like that? That's kind of where the mass of it comes from. As long as if you don't give it any mass to absorb, I guess it can't really do anything. It's still dangerous though. <laughs> it's so it's so patronizing television, isn't it? I saw a show the other day and it was like how to sell your house kind of thing. And I said if someone's coming around to view the house. Remember to open your curtains and tidy up. <laughs> oh, thanks for that. I'd been planning on redecorating using diarrhea pills and stencils. Wow. Then shaving <laughs> the word welcome into my dog's back. <laughs> <laughs> what gets me about the credit crunch, right, is how flimsy our principles are. Because everyone was buying organic food and going, oh, I want the chicken to have lived a life before I eat <laughs> yes, it. Yes. Now the first sign of trouble. I don't care if that chicken, if the first light it ever sees is the little light in my oven. <laughs> <laughs> Lines you wouldn't hear in a sci-fi film. The androids are going berserk, Captain. Let's try switching them off and then on again. <laughs> <laughs> Troubleshooting. Radar, you look like a big black dildo. <laughs> well, damn. Captain, the ethereal sounds being made by this beautiful dying creature from another world is some funky shit. <laughs> <laughs> they let him dance off. First topic is pensioners. In 20 years' time, we'll have the first generation of pensioners who can text each other. I've got Alzheimer's, man. Yeah, you told me that like 20 times already, man. <laughs> it's not how old you are physically, is it? It's how old you it. are mentally. I mean, my granny is, what, 83? But she has the mind of a two-year-old. <laughs> well, damn. <laughs> Just a joke, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Another sporting news. Who so is still the man? mind of a two-year-old. Looks a bit like Peter Kay. <laughs> he's, he's a crazy billionaire who's bought Man City. Yeah. He is, yeah. There's yeah. no crazy billionaire build a secret base and kill James Bond anymore. <laughs> what are you going to do, Bond? I am buying Frank Lampard legally. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think it's going to be great for Man City. I can't wait to hear their team sheet being read out at 5 a.m. from the top of a mosque. <laughs> <laughs> Ronaldinho is injured. Yes, he is injured! <laughs> Guys, man, right? In, in two years' time, Manchester City will be 3 0 up in the Champions League final, <laughs> and this guy will just turn to his assistant and go, I am bored now. Build me a robot spaniel. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely small ads. Are you an alcoholic? There's a sale on it, Odd Bins. <laughs> <laughs> I can picture like a. To hear on question time. Is I could picture um, some type of like really edgy ad doing something like that seriously. Like I'm, I'm willing to bet that somewhere somebody has done something like that. We'll go back just a little bit. Time. Is Britain becoming more misogynist? Let's ask this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 158 years. Is it how long before the Fritzl family can look back and laugh? I don't know anything about the family. Y'all have to give me the context for that one. How long would it take me to lick my way out of a locked room? <laughs> I feel like, okay, I'm sorry for support staff who get let, get let go and stuff like that, but bankers? Yeah. They're not even going to end up poor. They're going to end up having to sell an ivory figurine of Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely lines from a TV detective show. So what can we tell from these bite marks on the breasts? <laughs> we can tell that I shouldn't be left alone with a body. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wouldn't hear in a travel documentary. This man lives under a sheet of tarpaulin and has to walk for three hours every morning just to get a drink of muddy water. Nonetheless, he is happy to be mayor of Dundee. <laughs> <laughs> On our third day of filming, an incredible discovery. Hippos are just men in costumes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they get so ornery when you get close, because they think that you have discovered that they're in disguise, so they get mad and rush you off. Trust me, have you ever gone close enough to a hippo have you ever seen a hippo and a person standing directly next? I'm, I'm obviously you have, but that's that's what they want you to think. That's their camera crew. Anyway, that's been this video. I want you guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Like I said, I will have a link for uh, have, uh, helpful edits at the end of this video. You can click on it and go to their channel. Frankie Boyle is absolutely funny. Um, I still need to get some more of his uh, actual stand-up routines. I have already reacted to the Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital, which is fucking hilarious. <laughs> um, I wasn't really going to cuss, but if I'm name-dropping Michael Jackson's Children's Hospital, you need to be prepared for it, goddammit, because cussing is the last thing <laughs> that you should be worried about <laughs> when it comes to that routine. But, um, yeah, everything that he does is absolutely funny. Uh, you guys have been recommended that I check out other comedians that appear on Mock the Week as well. Uh, at some point, I will do that too. Um, I need to look and see how many videos are in this series, and then I'll move on to the next comedian. But uh, yeah, there's an entire list of people that I have to get to still, but that's for another day. I have some more videos I want to try to react to, so if you guys you know, happen to enjoy my videos, be sure to stand by. They will be up the same time this is up. I don't know why I tell you guys stuff like this, like you're in the room with me while I'm recording these. <laughs> you, By the time you see this, you already know how many videos I've already uploaded and what I've already reacted to. I don't even know what I'm reacting to next right now. Well, yeah, I do. Now I do. But uh, anyway, that's been this video. I'm Devon Da Vinci. You've just been enlightened. I'm going to give you the deuces, and I'll see you on my next video. Deuces.